I was curious, so I decided to purchase. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Julian with Julian Tech Reviews and we're here with another unboxing and first impression of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, uh, you can purchase this from all carriers, but I got mine from T-Mobile since I'm a T-Mobile subscriber. But we are going to get into the unboxing and we're gonna see if this is actually something I'll get excited about or stay with Android or whatnot. But before we get into it, if you can please like, subscribe, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. And without further ado, let's unbox this thing. So I got this package today from T-Mobile and I ordered it online about two days ago. This was the easiest route for me to get the iPhone and I did. Now this iPhone cost about $1,200. So I got the 256 gigabyte version of it. And I got the Desert Storm colorway, which is more of a goldish tint. So, and here's the box in all its glory. And <laughs> it feels kind of weird being back to Apple. I wasn't really ex as enthused about getting it. And it didn't seem like a lot of people were enthused because of the market's complacency on Apple. So there's been less innovation, but I'm willing to give it a chance just for my subscriber. But without further ado, let's get it started. And it looks like Apple has still have the unboxing stickers here. So let's go ahead and take that apart. And there it is. So <laughs> wasn't expecting to see it so quickly. And here we have it, guys. My I have the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Ta-da! Well, let's see what else we got in the box. Oh, nice. We have a braided USB-C to USB-C type cord. And we have, I haven't done an Apple unboxing in such a long time. Do they come with stickers anymore? So we have this and I don't see a sticker. Oh, that's it. <laughs> well, that was uh, the unboxing. All right, now let's talk about my first impression of this. Well, I wouldn't say it is very nice. I like the rounded edges. I like, there's buttons on the side that are clicky clicky. It's got this nice aluminum side right here. Um, I mean, it's pretty much seems like, you know, Apple circa Apple 12 or 11. So, but we'll see if this is, you know, I'm gonna put this to the test. I'm gonna thoroughly take pictures, go through all of the details of this phone. And I'm just gonna really try my hardest and have an open mind to see is Apple still on top or why are people still buying Apples? But I mean, the design feels really nice in the hand. So no problem with that. It doesn't feel slippery. Um, I love this matte finish. It looks like Apple's adopted this matte finish on the back. This, this is glass. So this is quite similar to a Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. So I recently reviewed that on my channel and I would say it's, it feels like it. So it looks like Google has successfully copied the software. So up here we have our cutouts and that's really nice. But yeah, I mean, this is it. I mean, I finally got an iPhone. Let's turn it on to see if there's any juice. And I know with iPhone, I'm going to have to do a complete setup of my, you know, download Apple's website and remember all of my logins. So this is going to be really, really tough for me. I just wanted to show you real quick what the iPhone setup from an Android phone looks like. So you have to download the iOS app 
which is what I'm currently in from the App Store and Google Play. And when it's transferring from the Android, you can set it up as a Wi-Fi setup or you can do a wired setup. Right now I have a Wi-Fi setup. And as you can see, it's transferring the data from my Android device, which is my Vivo X Fold 3 Pro to my iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, during this process, it did ask me if I wanted to move my cellular data and it was unable to do that, but I was able to move over my messages, my contact information, all of my apps, which I have a lot and, you know, call history data, WhatsApp is WhatsApp is on its own accord gallery photos. It asked me if I wanted to move the photos over there, which I'm not because I have Google. Uh, photos myself so I have a limited and I don't have a cloud account yes of yet and nor am I gonna add more terabytes or whatever to store photos on my iPhone and what else did I move over oh yeah my settings so I'm curious to see what the settings will look like on my iPhone uh, once this transfer is complete but in the meantime we're just going to have to wait about two minutes to where everything is transferred. And as you can see, as it passed through my uh, WhatsApp was completed, it did add my messages. I have 17,000 messages. <laughs> um, so I probably need to archive some of these. But as I'm transferring all this information from my Android device to the Apple, I am kind of getting a little excited and curious to see how the new iOS 18 um, is performing and not only performing by itself, but performing against the other Android phones out there. All right. Now it shows that the transfer was complete. And as you can see, my cellular plan did not pass, but all my messages, my contacts, my call history, my events, my Google accounts, my apps, my accessibility settings transfer, my display settings, and my WhatsApp messages transferred over. And as you can see over here, it is complete too. So fairly simple process. It only took me about 10 minutes to get everything fully transferred from my uh, Android device over here to my new iPhone 16 Pro Max. But I just wanted to share with you my unboxing experience and first impressions. As you can see, it wasn't that much. So I know a lot of you have the iPhone out there, but you know, after, upon turning it on, it looks very nice. No complaints in that department, but is it truly worth the $1,200 I paid? We'll see. All right, guys, once again, this is Julian with Julian Tech Reviews. I just wanted to share with you my quick unboxing of the latest and greatest Apple product, the Apple 16 Pro Max. So. We'll stay tuned for more and more testing, more and more details, analysis. Peace.